Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a good few weeks. I haven't been on YouTube in like three to four weeks. Um, I decided to have a break. I felt really overwhelmed over September and October. I had like 10 brand collabs and I just had um, a lot of looks that I was doing. I was like amping up for Halloween. Um, I was just go, 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 go. And I had like no free time for family or friends. Um, and I just started to feel a bit overworked. So I decided to have a break for three to four weeks. I think it was four weeks. I don't know. But I haven't uploaded since Halloween. So it is December now. Um, so yeah, it has been over four weeks. Oh my gosh, it's been like five weeks. Time just goes so fast, but I have definitely missed filming for you guys and uploading videos. Um, but now I'm back to it. Yay, I uploaded my first Christmas look to Instagram yesterday. It was like a candy cane look this one so if you don't follow me on instagram then please do it mean so much to me and i upload all my cool makeup looks there i feel quite different today due to the fact that i'm wearing makeup i haven't worn makeup in the last two weeks just a bit of like mascara and concealer under my eyes and sometimes bronzer if i'm really pale on my face yeah it feels weird to just like get glammed up again feels nice feels good and i feel so different because i'm wearing my hair in a middle part if you were wondering like why I looked a bit, little bit different. Anyway I decided to film another paranormal story time video because you guys seemed to really like my first one and I looked into the insights and the watch time was higher than a lot of my videos recently. Um, so yeah I'm glad you guys found that interesting. I personally like watching that kind of stuff um, so that's why I want to upload it too because I feel like I am a very emotional and uh, spiritual person like I do believe in all of that stuff do you guys believe in like the paranormal and spirits and aliens and stuff like that because I find all that stuff so fascinating thing about it is that we will never truly know what happens in the afterlife and if spirits are truly real and all that kind of stuff but there is a lot of videos and a lot of stories out there from people and things that people have seen that are just unexplainable so I definitely do believe and I do think that there is like extraterrestrial beings out there. So I know my first story time video was mostly about like ghosts and spirits but this one is going to be more so about like extra terrestrial stuff as well which I didn't really get into in my last video oh my god I'm getting freaked out I'm actually getting freaked out like I keep thinking that I'm like seeing things and stuff it's so strange so if you guys haven't watched my first paranormal story time video I'll link it down below in the description um I really did like that video and I talked a lot about my grandparents um batch that is at Waihi Beach um I'll quickly go over it in case you didn't watch my first video but um we've been like hearing voices there and also a really creepy thing happened to me with like a dark figure and prominent like hands coming to me when I was sleeping at like the top of the corner and it was coming at me very very weird stuff and I said I would make another video when more stuff has happened and funny enough um, my parents have moved from their house. Um, we've, that's our family home. We've been there for 15 years. I'm not living with them, but that's like, you know, our family home. They finally moved and they are getting a new build in Papamoa, which is very exciting. So I'm very proud of them and it's cool that they are finally taking a next step and, you know, doing something different and having a bit of change. Um, but Meanwhile, while the build is getting built, they have been staying at my grandparents' batch at the beach. Um, and this is where all the weird stuff was happening and they've been there for like five weeks now. So that's five weeks of being in the batch and like having stuff happen. Um, so I'm just going to get a bit into that today and the stories that they have told me. Oh, it's already giving me like goosebumps already just thinking about this. And it's so weird that everything always happens around my grandparents' batch. Like maybe like at first now like anything that happens now we just associate it with my ulpa who passed away like five years ago um but creepy things were happening even before he passed away so we couldn't work out why or like who's died in our family that's kind of linked to that area or anything i don't know it's kind of really weird but the batch was hand built by my ulpa by the way so yeah it is a big chunk of like who he is and we know that if anything spiritual kind of happens now we link it to him because that's where he's always wanted to be and that's where he's always wanted to live 
even though um, they lived in Auckland. So anyway, the first thing is my sister, my younger sister Rebecca, was staying at the batch with them because she hadn't seen them for ages. She just finished uni, um, so she stayed with them for like four days and then she stayed at mine for a day. Um, but anyway, she said randomly she was sleeping and she just randomly like woke up. Like she said nothing, she didn't have a bad dream, she didn't hear anything, she just woke up and then she like looked to the side of the door and there was like a figure behind the door, um, like in front of the room. So there was a figure and she said it was like a hologram, she said it was like staticky and I have heard that from people that if they see ghosts or spirits it's like staticky as if it's like another dimension or something. And she said at first she was like terrified but then she kind of got a sense of calm and just thought straight away that's Ulpa and then she said hi Ulpa like she actually said that and it was gone. And she did say she looked there the next morning and there was a coat hanger um, there and then beneath that there was like an iron board so obviously that could have been the shadow that she was seeing but um, she said it wasn't that she knew when she woke up she was fully awake she knew it wasn't the iron board and the coat hanger and mediums do say that they say that ghosts um, like form in an object so like say if you had a tall chair um, a spirit will kind of use that to form itself like morphing into that object. I don't know. I don't know, it was weird, but I do believe her because um, she is going through a really tough time at the moment and sh the fact that she's seen that at the batch, like as if it was all par, like almost watching over her. So here's another story that has happened in the batch. So probably two weeks earlier than when Becca's seen that, mum heard evident knock knock like on the wall now our batch is made of wood so obviously it can be like wood expanding the batch is always creaky but mum said this did not sound like a creak it was very very loud to the point that it woke her up um and she woke up and then she heard it was like bang bang and it was like right in their bedroom wall like what the hell and this is in the middle of the night so even if like the wood is expanding why is it so loud and why does it sound like a knock and it like frightened her and she just didn't think anything of it something else happened to Becca while she was staying there she was sleeping as well and she heard knock 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 in the wall and she said it was an evident knock as if someone was like trying to come in or something. She thought it was mum knocking on their bedroom door and she woke up and she was like, what the hell? She woke up Monique and she was terrified. She's like, Monique, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Monique said, no, because she's such a heavy sleeper. So Monique didn't hear anything, but it startled Becca and Monique got terrified too and they couldn't get back to sleep since then and that happened at four in the morning. Now the weird thing is, whenever some spiritual things happen to us, it is around four to five in the morning and I believe that time is so evident because my upa passed away between four and five in the morning um so I just find that so strange how things are happening around the same time um and it's always been like that so she looked it up on google and it said three evident knocks means that somebody close to you is going to pass away or there is going to be bad news um, which was really strange because, well, ever since then we haven't had anyone pass away or we haven't had any bad news. Um, and obviously because she thought, like, this was linked to spirits, she typed up on Google and that's what that said. And Becca, like, got fully creeped out and that creeped me out. Like, it's giving me goosebumps again just, um thinking about that. Anyway, something else happened. Um, so I literally just seen my mum not long ago. Um, I was having dinner there and mum was saying that the other night she was in the lounge and she heard evident footsteps going up the hallway. And she said it wasn't creaking, it wasn't anything, it was evident footsteps like like actually like walking. And she said it was really strange and she got a little bit freaked out but then she kind of wasn't that scared because she thought, oh, it might have been Ulpa because he always walked up from the bedroom to the kitchen. He always walked from the bedroom to the kitchen in the night to get him something to eat or a glass of water or something. So she just thought maybe, you know, that could have been him. So yeah, those are the latest things that have happened um, at the batch and, the, and that's only been in a five week period. So 
kind of creepy and they're going to be there for six months so something else is bound to happen and I will um keep you guys up to date like if anything else does but something weird happened to me and Monique and mum we seen something the other day it was so weird but I was at the batch it's funny how it always happens at the batch but I was having dinner there with them this was like two days ago um so this is like still fairly fresh and this is where the extra terrestrial talk comes in oh, it was like 9 30 and I was about to leave from their place I didn't want to leave too late because Matthew um, was on day shifts so he has to get up like 5 30 in the morning so I didn't want to like get back super late and wake him up you know as he's just gone to bed so I was going to leave and then like we were in the backyard um and our batch is situated right near Wahi Beach like there's one street over and then after that street is the beach we've only got two neighbors in front of us but we can see a massive gap of the beach so very awesome to have views like that and the section that we do it's like really big um so I was leaving and then I heard like weird noises and I was like oh that's weird and I kind of looked towards the beach and there was lights like weird lights and I at first I was like oh that's strange like it's obviously a boat because like you know boats are in the sea and they twirl and they you know boats are going so I'm like oh, okay it might be a boat um kept talking and then it caught my eye again and then the noises just got worse it was really weird mum's like oh it must be a sham and I was like eh, 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 eh. and I was like what the hell like it sounded like a sheep no sheep live on the beach there's no farms around um it was really weird and I was like eh, 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 eh. like it kept getting louder like it was so weird um and then we just kept watching for ages I was like what the hell and mum and Minnie were like oh, we see the lights and the lights were getting more like prominent and they were shining and it was kind of centered around a palm tree um and it almost looked like discs it was like circling around each other there was like three of them and it was kind of like by a tree and um I started filming so I do have footage um so you guys can see what I'm talking about but we come to discover it wasn't a boat because I kind of looked to the side and realized there was no boats out at the sea um and First we thought it was people, like, we're like, oh, maybe someone climbed a tree. I'm like, oh, that's weird, them climbing a tree at, like, 9, by this time it was, like, 9.40. So I started, like, waving my torch. I'm like, it's a signal. Like, for some reason that just came to my head, like, oh, they must be trying to signal to us. Like, maybe they're stuck, like, in the tree. I don't know, but I started waving my torch like this. So Monique's like, oi, I'm like, don't call out. I was like, freaked out. But yeah, then we soon discovered it wasn't people because we just kept watching and we realized it was one of those palm trees so people can't actually physically climb up to the top of the leaves like if that makes sense I don't know if it was above the palm tree or if it was behind it um you'll see in the footage that I'm about to show you but yeah it was like lights spinning around really weird noises coming from the beach and it was like really colorful lights and then they would like fade and it would disappear then it'd come back then it'd like circle around each other then um, it would flash. It almost looked like meteorites in the sky. And it was weird because a few meters over the, the pole, it kept lighting up. Like it lit up and then I was like looking and there was no one around there. So I was like, okay, this is weird. Um, I did put it on my Instagram story the other day. A few of you said maybe a UFO, which honestly could have been because a lot of people have been having UFO sightings at beaches and weird stuff happening at beaches. People are seeing like weird disc looking spacecrafts in the sky. Lots of weird stuff does happen at Waihi Beach. Um, there's been a lot of like UFO, UFO. I go like this because you guys are probably like, oh my God, like what is she talking about? But um, like unexplainable stuff people have seen at Waihi Beach and Mount Maunganui Beach. And one of my friends sent me an article of a story that this person had where her and her partner were at the beach and this was like in Auckland at one of the beaches. And then there was like lights that came all the way to them and it was like zooming at supersonic speeds in the sky and then it would like come like real close to them and then it like disappeared and then they drove over to another part of the beach um because they were kind of frightened at this stage and then they said there was heaps of them that all came close to them and it, and they were like there and then they just went off at supersonic speed and I just find that so weird like what thing at night is gonna fly up to them and kind of like follow their movements and then fly off at supersonic speed 
UFO. Some people said it could have been a drone, but I know it wasn't a drone because my partner has a drone, a Phantom 3. I know what they sound like and I know how they can fly like. I definitely know that there's not three lights on them circling around each other like this and in a tree. Because drones go around objects, they can't go like in objects. And I heard no drone noises, drone noises are super loud, it's like zzzz. So I know it wasn't a drone and it was too inconsistent to be a drone, like the lights would go away, they'd come back, like it was just all over the place. So I'll put the videos in here now for you guys of the clips that I took. It's annoying when you don't know what it is, mm. eh? Oh look, you can see it on my camera. Okay, there's a weird light hovering in the distance in this tree. We don't know what this is. Is that a torch? Like, we actually don't know what is hovering in the distance by this tree. Mm. What the hell? It's scary, really. What is that? Okay, here's a tree in the distance and there is weird lights moving all around at the top and it doesn't even make sense to us. Can you work out what this is? Is it aliens? No. <laughs> We're in the... Oh, I've got it zoomed in, so there's our back <laughs> fence. But yeah. literally, we. this is a big... What is it? A big pine tree. Yeah, it's like a pine tree. But for yeah. some reason, there's like... Oh, there's a light down there because there's a street light, but... Yeah, the house is sort of lit and it's over the street. And we thought it was people in the house. tree and we were like waving our yeah, torch thinking it was were. a signal. <laughs> it's actually weird. Mm. It's like going, it's sort Sounds of like, like we hear really weird like sheep-like bird yes. noises. Is this a blimpin', blimpin' alien? Or is it a shame? <laughs> to make What's it making shame? lights yeah. though? No it's animal so makes weird. a light. It was hovering away from the tree, so there can't be anyone in it. It's like birds. That was a really distinct... Mm. But it's still hovering a little bit. Mm. Look, when yeah. I zoom in, it's really bright it. light. I feel like going up close. And I can't even work it out. Strange. Yeah, look. We should go a little closer, shall Can we? Can you guys hear that? Yeah. Okay, so this is a tree. Here it is. It's still not fit. Oh, wow. That's quite bright. Okay, so that is really weird, right? Like, if you guys know what this could have been, then let me know down below in the comments. It wasn't anything Christmassy. It wasn't no projector or anything like that. It wasn't like Christmas lights because me and Monique decided to drive and have a closer look. So we were driving and I was so terrified. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to go closer. And I was like, oh, and then we just went. And we went past it and we're looking everywhere and there was nothing. There was no lights, there was no weird sounds and I was looking everywhere and I just couldn't make out to be where they were. And it was really strange because we had seen it, um, you know, from our section at the batch. I have no idea what it could have been and we were like creeped out. But the weird thing was, is that we were like totally mesmerized. Like, as if it was like drawing us in. This just sounds so weird, but I just couldn't stop looking at it. I was just like like trying to work it out what it was, but we were just all quite like mesmerized. Last night, obviously because of what happened the night before, I kept thinking about it. I kept thinking about spirits. I kept thinking about aliens and like UFOs and space and stuff like that. Like I kept thinking about it. Um, and something really, really, really creepy happened last night. So me and Matthew, Matthew was evidence because he heard it too. Me and Matthew were watching Vikings on Netflix just didn't talk anything we're just watching vikings and the alexa if you guys don't know what an alexa is it is from amazon it is like a speaker um and when you say 
Alexa, you have to say the code name for it to say anything or for you to ask it something, get it to play music, um, whatever. So you have to say the code word Alexa. Um, and it has been turning on randomly, like, but just kind of the blue light turns on or it's happened like four times before when it, when it just says something. Last night, it turned on and guess what it said? It actually creeps me out. Like, this is the one that's giving me the most goosebumps. It said, yes, it is an entity. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I looked at it and I was like to Matthew, why the hell would it just say that? What's an entity? Because being honest, I didn't know what entity means. And I asked Alexa, I said, Alexa, what does an entity mean? I'll type it up on Google now because I don't want to say anything wrong. An entity is a being, an existence, especially independent, separate, or self-contained existence or the existence of a thing as contrasted with its attributes or something as separate and distinct existence and objective or conceptual reality. So literally, that is like spiritual existence or like aliens, like what the f meaning it's not in our reality, but it is an existence outside of our reality. So pretty much saying there is spirits, like yes, it is an entity. Okay, you guys probably think, like, what the hell, Alex probably just said that, but I had not, I didn't even know that word. Like, we didn't even say anything, we weren't talking, because sometimes if we're talking, Alexa might, like, turn on randomly, because maybe it thinks it heard the code word or something, but we weren't even talking. Like, it just randomly came on last night and said, yes, it is an entity. And I'm like, what the, what the hell's entity? And then last night as well, when I got into bed, um, like, I was on my phone, like, I was still awake, it was, like, 11pm, and then I felt, like, a tap in the middle of my back, and I was, like, oh, Matthew, because he always, like, has his hands swinging everywhere, or, like, he twitches sometimes, like, which is really funny, but I looked at him, and his hands were tucked under the blanket, like, straight by his body, and it wasn't him, like, he was still, like, this far away from me, and I was, like, oh, yeah, that happened last night when I was in bed lying down. So that's why it's the weird thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is my story time. That's all that's kind of happened since. Funny enough how it's all um, linked to the batch. And then like this possible UFO, extraterrestrial business. I don't know. So let me know down below what you think of my stories. What you think those lights were. Have you guys had any spiritual things happen to you guys? Have you had like any extraterrestrial sightings have you seen a ufo have you seen like alien evidence i don't know i want to hear it all about it i absolutely love talking about this stuff so start commenting down below i want to have a cool conversation with you guys so please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more videos like this um obviously if i have any more things happening to me or to my family um, I will do another story time if it is interesting enough. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload every week, um, every Saturday at 8.30am New Zealand time. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.